Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. My name is Kayla, and if you guys are interested in creativity and lifestyle videos sprinkled with magic, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, as you guys can see, we are doing this Queen of Hearts inspired makeup look, so if you guys are curious to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Go ahead and get started. I already have my eyebrows on, but I want to go ahead and touch them up, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and then touch my eyebrows up a bit. Okay, now onto the face. I am actually going to prime my eyes with my e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is a super pale color, so I want to make my eyelids primed super pale as well since I'm trying to do like the main part of my face super white. This is my inspiration picture here so let's just see how we do. <laughs> Shout out to Amy Donnelly Makeup from Ireland. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrows as well too just to get it all over. Just to make sure I get it all over my lid. Okay, I want to do an eye look, so I think I'm going to use a combination of my two ColourPop palettes. This is Midnight Masquerade, and this is Misunderstood, and we're just going to go ahead and focus on the blues in these palettes. But of course, I can't do a fun makeup look without using my Fade Into Hue palette, so we're just going to go ahead and use this light blue shade as our transition shadow and work this all over our lid. I think today for the eyes we're just gonna do a half cut crease because I've been trying to do a lot of like um, halo eyes a lot so I just kind of want to do something a bit different. So first to help deepen up the crease we're going to jump in to Iconic which is the dark blue shade here and then work that into the outer corners. But you want the main pigment to be in the outer third and then work your way into the crease. So now to really deepen out the crease, I'm going to go in with, actually I don't think I'm going to end up using my Midnight Masquerade palette, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with the fades here, and then deepen out the, the crease, or deepen out the corners of my eyes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it kind of looks a bit patchy. I hope it is not me. Okay, so far, but I think I want to make it a bit darker. Go back in with that light blue shadow and then just make sure you. Blend out those edges. Now to carve out the half cut crease. I'm just gonna use my P. Louise eyeshadow base 
And then the key for half cut creases or just like any halo eye cut crease is that you really want the crease or the outer corners to be super dark so then the contrast is really there. So like the, the blue shadow will be super super dark and then it'll really contrast with the light half cut crease shade. And you guys know the drill, I always go back in with a really small defining brush to really carve out that crease. And then when I'm doing a cut crease, I make sure I try to look up so then you can see that like the cut crease is still going to show when I'm opening my eyes. Now that we have the cut crease, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use my Elsa palette and I'm going to use the shade Ice Crystals for the cut crease. Ooh, yeah, I really like this shade. Now I'm going to go back in with my Misunderstood palette and then take the shade Jetsam and then work this on the outer corners to help create a gradient effect from the dark blue to the ice crystal shadow. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the fates and then work that into the outer corner to make sure everything's blended. And now for an inner corner shadow, I'm gonna go back in with the Elsa palette and use the shade Cuddle Close. I already took one out, but I think for my lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and use Agatha. I'm gonna use Agatha was here, and this is from, of course, Lashes in Wonderland. And as always, if you guys are interested in these lashes or any of her other lashes, go ahead and use my code Kayla's Ever After at checkout. And these are a little bit long for me, so I'm definitely gonna cut some off. And I usually cut them off on the inner eye part. Oh. <laughs> these are gonna be perfect. And I like to use like flared lashes, especially when I do a half cut crease. That looks so dramatic. I love it for this look. I just dampened my beauty blender and now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this fallout and just use the concealer. Um, so I'm gonna go back in with my 16 hour camo concealer. And then we'll go ahead and start on the face. Okay, before I go ahead and start with the face makeup, I want to go ahead and draw out the heart on my face first. So I actually have this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and I'm just going to use this to outline my face. and put on the foundation and you can totally I feel like you can totally use white face makeup but then I just wanted this to be as gentle as possible on my face and normally I would really not like if the foundation got on my lips but today I feel like it helps <laughs> I'm gonna go as in the lines as possible but then if I can't it's okay because I'm gonna go I'm gonna work my normal shade foundation here first and then work and then do a red line over so then it kind of makes the heart pop more. <laughs> Not bad, okay. 
Okay, but to set everything, I'm gonna go in with the Bretman Rock palette and use the shade Coconut Connoisseur and then go ahead and use that to set everything. I realized that I didn't do primer, so remember primer and then I think this look will help. It'll help make it look a lot more even. Okay. That's the white part. Now for like the outline of my face, I'm going to go in with the Camo CC Cream from e.l.f. and then just work that on the outer parts of my face to help clean it up a bit. And again, it's okay if you go over the line because I'm gonna go ahead and go over it with a with a red eyeshadow to really draw the outline of the heart. I think it definitely helps bring out the white a bit more. <laughs> I also feel like I look like Charlie Chaplin or like that mime in Tangled. Now for the outline, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Jungle Rock palette again and then work in these red shadows to help outline the heart. this a bit more defined so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up a bit crazy when I smile like this, like it looks so weird, but then it looks like more of a heart, right? So now for the finishing touches, I'm going to put a little more of the white concealer, I mean foundation on my lips. We're going to do heart lips. Also, I would highly recommend if you guys have if you have lip liner, do that first. They're almost done! The blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lizzie McGuire collection blush, and this is You Are Magnifico, and then just work that right here. And then I want to add a little birthmark, or like, not even birthmark, but like heart. Heart birthmark, heart mole. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, I think on this side, because this side just doesn't look as good, so. I literally look so weird like that, oh my god. Okay. This is the finished look, but I'm gonna go ahead and change really quick. Okay, so this is pretty much the complete look, and I have these cards. Of course, I have to queen. Ugh. Of course, I have to have the queen of hearts right up front. And also, I gotta say, shout out to my best friend Celeste for having these cards because if it wasn't for these cards, I don't even think I would have a another deck of cards. But let's go ahead and take some photos. for today's video I absolutely love how the look turned out it is more I would say 
Once Upon a Time Alice in Wonderland live action inspired versus like the classic cartoon but nonetheless I absolutely loved how it turned out. I've had this idea in my head for so long so I'm so excited to finally execute it. I love doing crazy makeup looks like this because it really helps me step outside my comfort zone and challenges me to do something crazy so I absolutely love how it turned out and I guess that's pretty much it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see more crazy makeup looks like this and comment down below who is your favorite Disney villain. I think my favorite Disney villains are a tie between Ursula and Maleficent. Maybe it's the purple thing, I don't know. I'm really excited to hear your favorite villains. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video from me. And if you guys want to see more of me and if you guys want to see how these photos turned out, be sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. They're both just Kayla's Ever After. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Off with her head. <laughs>